What's up, y'all? Salandia Hammond here, affectionately known as Sue Ham Baby, also known as your thug motivator. Did y'all see the movie? Did, did y'all see the movie, Surviving Compton? I don't know what is factual and what is not factual. But what I can tell you is that that movie had me crying. Y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you? I, who else was crying? Comment below if you was crying. Y'all, listen, let me tell you something. I don't know how much is true and how much is not. But what I want to speak to is domestic violence. Let me tell you something right now. If you're in a situation, get out. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I thank God I have never been in a situation like that before. But my heart was bleeding watching that movie, Surviving Compton. I, what's up, call me Hammond? I just, I just, I just, wow, man. It put it into perspective, domestic violence. And if you live in the state of South Carolina like I do, you know that our state is a state that has the highest domestic uh, violence reports and we have the weakest laws. And I just wanted to say, if you watch that movie, oh God, how could you not have been affected? I, I'm not saying that Dre did that. But what I am saying is I want to speak to people who are in situations like that. Get out, get out. Listen, that movie was whoo. That that I, I mean I, I cried the whole way through that movie. I'm just like, oh my God, that's crazy. That's domestic violence is real, y'all. I just want to know y'all thoughts. Comment below what y'all thought thought about surviving Compton Tangy. Go to Lifetime. They airing it over and over and over again. Surviving Compton. Uh, it's Michelle A's story about Compton, NWA, uh, her life with Dre, Dr. Dre. And uh, that movie was, whoo, whoo. My brother said wrong lyrics. Okay, I'm singing the wrong song. Okay. You know who Michelle A is? There's something in my heart. Something in my heart. Something. Then in my heart, it's got me stuck on you. And then when she talks, she goes, I didn't know that it was going to be like that. But it was. So here is my story. But what I'm telling you is go check out the movie. If you know somebody that's in a violent domestic situation, man, open your mouth and speak. I don't know how people can know somebody is getting beat down and not say nothing. Okay. Help that person. I know it's up to the person involved in the situation to want to get out. But my God, if any of my friends, you don't even got to be my friend. If you my enemy and I know that you getting beat like that, I'm going to drag you by the neck and pull you up out of that situation. I'm going to do whatever I got to do because I don't condone domestic violence. Man, I'm telling you, that movie had me crying, sobbing all the way through it. I was mad. I was I was mad. I I, I want I wanted to punch somebody. Uh, what? But that's violent. Hold on. I didn't want. To, I didn't really want to punch nobody. But I just I was just I was just. You don't understand, guys. Whew. And men suffer domestic violence too. Mm. Carmaine Hammond says it's up to them to get out of a good portion of it. That is true. And that's with anything in life, guys. If you want something better, it starts with you. So if you are in a... And, and listen, I'm not no expert. Let me go ahead and put that out there right now, the disclaimer. I'm not no expert. I've never been involved in it. But I do know that what my brother says is right. A lot of times in life, when you are in a situation that you don't like, it takes you getting out of that situation. It takes you wanting to want better. And that's with anything, whether it be domestic violence whether it be poverty, whether it be depression, anything, you've got to say enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm not staying here no more. I'm not staying in this mental uh, prison anymore. I'm not staying in this physical prison anymore. When I'm not talking about like the uh, prisons, like, you know, the real prisons. I, I ain't talking about them kind of prisons. Don't y'all break out. Don't break, Don't say that you watch this video and Sue Ham told you to break out. Don't do that. But you understand what I'm trying to say, right? But it's just... That thing messed my heart, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm, I'm telling you. It's it, 
the movie is the movie the movie the movie is heavy the movie the movie is heavy the movie is he the movie is heavy guys but what's even heavier is that people are still living in uh, uh that type of environment today man if you know somebody that is going through that y'all don't just pray for them do something do something help them do something i believe in prayer but remember prayer without works is dead faith without works is dead i have prayer and i have faith that people can get out of bad situation but at the same time it takes you putting forth effort so if you know somebody like that reach out to them man keep trying don't stop i know it's up to them to do something but keep trying don't stop don't stop man keep keep going out there and lending your helping hand man because i'm telling you that movie had me in tears it had me upset it had me just thinking deeper and it had me just wanting to write a stage play on domestic violence because i was like this is crazy like i said the state of south carolina go look at our numbers we're right up there with domestic violence man it's crazy women men who are being abused verbally mentally physically lord jesus my heart goes out to you listen there is help you don't have to go through this alone you don't have to go through this period please find the strength to get help and to get out baby because we don't need you to lose your life over another person's mm. if you ain't seen the movie surviving compton go check out the movie if you know somebody that's going through that situation listen help them out you understand what i'm trying to say stevie mills says i don't believe in battered women syndrome until i saw it happen to one of my best friends it's a process that they have to believe that they truly deserve not to be in wow Wow. Yeah, it's a mental thing, man. Everything is a mental thing. A lot of people, like even Michelle A said in the movie, she should have left. She said she should have left a long time ago. And, and that's, and, and you know, that's what anything in our lives, I, I was in situations where I should have left a long time ago, not domestic violence, but there were other situations where I should have gotten myself up out of it a long time ago. And sometimes we got to sit in it to learn something. But then there are some times, man, you got to get up and get up out of there, baby. You and, it's, and it takes good people beside you, I think, to influence you and to let you know that it's going to be okay. You deserve better. You deserve to walk around and not be intimidated, not be afraid that somebody going to slap the you-know-what out of you. No, 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 no. So, um, listen, go see the movie. Uh, well, it's on Lifetime. You know, they're running it over and over. Again, disclaimer, I don't know how much is factual. I don't know how much is non-factual. All I know is it spoke to me about domestic violence and that there are a lot of people in this situation, male and female, and I just pray and hope if there's anything I can do for you, reach out to me. But don't reach out to me if you ain't serious about trying to get out of the situation. You got to be serious. You got to want it. You got to want better. Like like so many people on here are commenting, you have to want better. So, and if you want better and you don't know where to turn, listen, I will do my best. I'm not no expert, but I will try to get you the help that you need. I promise you that. I promise you. So, I just, I wanted to know y'all thoughts. What y'all thought about the movie? Come on, talk to me below. Talk to me below. Crystal Burgess, survivor of domestic violence. Lord, my heart went out to her. Crystal Ver uh, Burgess, are you saying that you're a survivor? You went through that? Because if you did, Crystal, I want you to comment below. Tell us the steps that you took to get out of that. Crystal Burgess, if you went through domestic violence, comment below because somebody might be watching. Somebody might come and read, watch, um, read these comments later. Tell us the steps that you went through to get out of that. Carmaine Hammond. Her mental was gone as a little girl. That's right. She had elder, elder people telling her that if a man beats you, he loves you. Get the... Oof. Jeez. Y'all don't understand. I wanted to jump through my TV screen so bad. I wanted to jump through the TV screen and pull that elderly woman out of the TV screen and say, ma'am, no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No, no, no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Y'all seen me on Steve Harvey a couple of weeks ago and I told you that love does not hurt. It's the absence of love that hurts. Now, what do I mean by that? When you love somebody, you don't go out your way to abuse them and hurt them, okay? A lot of us got it twisted. We think that a person loves us when they misuse us, when they beat us, when they cheat on us, right? When they degrade us, when they make us feel like the scum of the freaking earth, when, when they hit us, when they give us a black eye, then that means, oh, he loves me because he cares that much about me to put his hands on me. He cares that much about me to go out there and do me doggy, but yet he comes back home to me. Yeah, he might have 5, 6, 10, 25, 30, 40, 50, Five other women out there but i'm the one in the house that ain't love baby love don't hurt love is not supposed to hurt love is a feel-good thing 
Love is, ooh, love, mm, love will have you up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning cooking dinner, a full-fledged dinner. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Mm, love will have you out there washing his car, putting the armor on, on the four wheels, okay? And as a man, love will have you out there at 8 o'clock in the morning pressure washing her house. Yes, sir. Love will have you going down there to the Walmart and getting her a whole new set of tires. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Love will have you when she got cancer and all her head on fell out. Tell her she, that she's the most beautiful person in the world. You must be the most beautiful girl in the world. Yes, because you see past all the hair. You see past all the physical. You see past all the fake eyelashes that she can't get no more. You see past all the fake fingernail tips that she can't put on no more. You see past all the weight that she's lost because of the chemotherapy. Because that's freaking love! That's what love is. Love is colorblind. I don't care if you got 22 degree skin burn. That's what love is. I don't care if your skin is tan, white, brown, red, orange, yellow. You don't see no color. Love is colorblind. Yes. Mm. Love will have you going out there and giving your last $10 and putting the gas in his gas tank so he can get to work because you want to build that man up instead of saying you ain't never got no money. You don't do nothing. That man is out there trying to get it so he don't have to go back to prison. But you want to go there and try to tear him down. What you want him to do? Sell drugs and to get 20 to 30 to life and then never be with the kids again? Come on, somebody. We got to support. <sighs> All that yelling, I feel slightly abused right now. Shut up, Carmaine Hammond. I'm just saying, we got it twisted. We need to go back and understand what true love really is, guys. Love does not hurt. We got to build each other up. You understand what I'm telling you? I'm going to tell you what true love is. True love is that when your man don't work all night to keep the lights on that Santee trying to turn off, that Progress Duke energy trying to turn off. But he done worked all night at a job that he can't stand. But he know he got obligations. And love is when he come in at 1.30 in the morning, even though you hard down and asleep. <laughs> when you hear that door open, you get up and you fix that man's food. Because you appreciate the fact that he ain't out in the streets. You appreciate the fact that he ain't at Brenda's house. You appreciate the fact that he ain't selling drugs. But instead, he's doing the right thing to keep them lights on that Duke energy trying to turn off. That's love. Let me tell you what love is. Love is when you respect the mother of your children. Even though you may not be with that woman anymore, you still respect her because what? At one point in time, you had to like her because you laid down with her. And now that y'all done created children, you still respect her. That's love. It ain't got to always be romantic love. Come on, somebody. That's what's wrong with y'all. You think you got to get in the bed with somebody to love somebody. You think you got to touch somebody to love somebody. You think you got to put your tongue down their throat to love somebody. It ain't always got to be about romantic love. Come on, man. Come on, somebody. Wake up. Y'all better be sharing this video because people need this right now. People need... You... Love don't hurt. Love don't hurt, baby, and love don't cost. Uh-uh. You give of it freely. It makes you feel good. Yes, it does. It makes you feel good. Oh, you make me feel good. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what Halle Berry said? Huh? Make me feel good. That's what love does. It make me feel good. Hmm? Y'all already know, man. Don't play with me. <laughs> Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham, baby. Also known as a thug motivator. I ain't been thuggish in a minute, but I felt like I needed to come on here and be a little thuggish. If you in a situation and you're getting beaten, you're getting verbally, physically, mentally abused. And you know in your heart that you're not supposed to be there. There is help. All you got to do is reach out. I know sometimes it's scary. Because I've, I've talked to battered women. And it's scary. And you just don't know how to do it. But Lord, just, mm, just take the step. I'm telling you, just take that step and get out of that situation. Because I'm telling you, that movie had me feeling some type of way. If I knew anybody at that point in time that was in a situation like that, I might have been driving up to their house at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Because I was watching this movie up until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I would have been knocking on the door. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Or where she at? Because there's some women that's out there that's being abusive as well. So, I want you to know, 
that you don't have to go through that. There, there, there are people out there that can help you. Again, disclaimer, I am not an expert, okay? I do not know how much of the movie was true or what was untrue. But what I do know is that domestic violence exists. And it's, it's sickening. It sucks. It's nasty. It's degrading. It's hurtful. And if I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I seen it growing up. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I hope you don't like it. And I hope that you get out of it if that's you that's in that situation. Somebody drop the hotline number for domestic violence. Drop Somebody go Google it right now and drop that hotline number. Because somebody could come back on this video and see this and need that number ASAP. So I need somebody to go Google it and drop that number right below in this comments. Please do that. I appreciate y'all. Share the video. I love you guys and I'll see you around. Peace.